Upon reaching cruise configuration, use the Lean Find mode to identify the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. Note that this is the leanest cylinder, not necessarily the hottest cylinder. There are two methods of leaning. The standard method is the default leaning rich of peak. If you have the GAMI fuel injectors, you can use the lean of peak method. This DVD describes both methods. First, we will show the standard rich of peak method. Begin the leaning process by pre-leaning the mixture to about 50 degrees below the estimated peak on any one of the cylinders. For example, let's say you've determined that 1350 Fahrenheit is the pre-lean value for your aircraft. Now wait about 20 seconds for temperatures to stabilize. To enter the Lean Find mode, tap the Lean Find button. You will see the exhaust gas temperature of the hottest cylinder on the left display. Lean the mixture at a rate of about a quarter turn per second without stopping. When there is a 15 degree rise in EGT, the Lean Find will become active, indicated by the blinking square surrounding the number of the hottest cylinder. The fuel flow rate will be shown on the right display. Stop leaning when you momentarily see leanest on the display and a column begins blinking. On the left is displayed the temperature of the first EGT to peak. If you tap lean find, the left display will toggle to display the number of degrees below peak of the first EGT to peak, displayed as a negative number. Tap Lean Find again to toggle to the actual EGT value. To see the captured peak EGT value, hold the Lean Find button. In most cases, you will now be on the lean side of peak by about 10 degrees. While the column is blinking, slowly enrich the mixture. The temperature will rise, returning to peak. Stop enriching at the desired exhaust gas temperature, either at peak or slightly rich of peak. To use the lean of peak method, tap lean find and then immediately hold both the step and the lean find buttons until you see lean peak. For the duration of the flight, your EDM will remember to use the lean of peak method anytime you use the lean find mode. Lean the mixture at a rate of a quarter turn per second without pausing. When there is a 15 degree rise in EGT, the lean find will become active, indicated by the blinking square surrounding the number of the hottest cylinder. The fuel flow rate will be shown on the right display. When the first EGT peaks, you will see the word leanest. The graph display will invert to what we call the icicle graph. Continue leaning until the last EGT peaks, as indicated by the words richest and the blinking EGT number and column. The column will stop blinking and two cylinder numbers will be surrounded by squares, the leanest and the blinking richest. The number of degrees below peak for the last EGT to peak is shown in the display. If you hold the Lean Find button, you will see the word richest and the captured peak of the richest cylinder on the left, and the GAMI spread on the right. The GAMI spread is the change in fuel flow from the first to the last EGT to peak. The EDM 930 fuel flow feature uses the known capacity of fuel aboard and keeps track of all fuel consumed. For fuel calculations to be accurate, it is imperative that you enter into the EDM 930 the correct amount of fuel aboard the aircraft. The fuel flow feature provides three values in the indexing sequence. They are time to empty at the current fuel burn rate displayed in hours and minutes, total fuel used since refueling, or accumulated since the last time the total was reset, and fuel remaining in all tanks. If you have your GPS interface to your EDM 930, you will have the following additional three values. Fuel required to the next GPS fix. The fuel reserve you will have upon reaching the next GPS fix and nautical miles per gallon based on current ground speed and fuel burn rate. 
When you first turn on the EDM 930, you will be asked if you filled, added, or removed fuel from the tanks. If you tap exit, your answer is no. You have not changed the amount of fuel on board. If you have added fuel, tap fill. You will see the total capacity of your main tanks. Tap yes if this is the total fuel in your main tanks. If you have an auxiliary tank, Tapping change will show total fuel capacity in both main and auxiliary tanks. If you topped your tanks, you now have the displayed amount of fuel in the aircraft. Tap yes. If you added or removed fuel, tap add and you will see fill plus minus. Tap adjust and you will see value zero gallons. If you added fuel, hold plus minus and the amount displayed will increase. If you overshoot the amount or removed fuel, simply tap plus minus to obtain the correct amount. Tap done when you've finished entering fuel information. What if during startup you forgot to tell your EDM 930 that you refueled? No problem. In flight, simply hold the step and lean find buttons until you see program, then refuel no. Tap Fill, and then answer the questions as we just described. The EDM 930 has factory programmed alarms customized for your make and model of aircraft. When a measurement exceeds its normal range, the digital display will blink with the value and abbreviation of the alarming item. The RAD will also display the alarm. When an alarm is displayed, tapping step will temporarily delete that measurement from the indexing sequence for the next 10 minutes. Holding step until the word off appears will delete the measurement from the indexing sequence for the remainder of the flight. You cannot turn off primary alarm indications displayed on the RAD. If there is more than one alarm, they will be sequenced in the RAD only when an alarm condition returns to normal will the RAD cease indicating that alarm.